Hey everyone, welcome to I Teach You Science. This is going to be a video for teaching you density in five minutes or less. So here we go. First off, what is density? You might see from this picture that you got three different scenarios of a gas, a liquid, a solid. The solid has the most atoms in it that are most packed right there. The liquid has about a medium amount and the gas has the least amount. It's about how packed the molecules are. So you want to know density is how tightly packed the molecules are. You got a formula, which we're going to talk about in a second. It's mass divided by volume. The two most common units are going to be grams per milliliter or grams per centimeter cubed. Here's an example of a density scenario where the most dense substance in this case looks like milk is going to be at the bottom and your latte, the least dense stuff will be at the top. So it ends up stacking up by density highest at the bottom. An oil spill is another example. If you have materials that are different densities, they're going to separate out, so you'll be able to see that stripe there very easily. Jupiter, a planet in the solar system, is very, very obvious in terms of its layers because of the gases are different densities. The Earth is separated into different layers inside based on different densities, so density makes layers. Here's another example of some layering that looks like honey and soap and maybe some water and some items of different density. A hot air balloon works because the less dense molecules rise when they're heated up, which makes the balloon float. Density. We got smoke. Smoke always rises because it's less dense than the air. Here's an example of two blocks that are the same size. However, one is going to have more mass because it has more atoms inside of it. It's more dense. The copper and aluminum are here. The copper has less space between the molecules, so it's more dense. It's all about the space. Here is an example of a question with the formula. If the mass of an object is 10 grams and the volume is 5 milliliters, what's the density? So what you would want to do is you would want to take your 10 grams and you were to divide it by your 5 milliliter volume, which would be 2. Your unit's going to be whatever the top unit is, so grams slash whatever the bottom unit is. So this would be milliliters and there's your final answer. This works with every single question. Say they want you to solve for something different like if they say the volume is 20 milliliters and the density is 5 and they want you to find the mass you find out from this triangle. Whatever they're asking about you cover that up on the triangle. So I would cover up the M and the formula is density times volume right there. So you could do 20 milliliters times 5 grams per milliliter and you were to get a hundred the milliliters cancel grams for your final answer so you can use the triangle on the right to get all the formulas the more dense object has the most stuff remember on the left this would be considered a solid most likely because it's more packed the one on the right is a gas and everything's moving quick it's got a lot of energy Here's your picture again. The less dense stuff has more space and the more dense stuff has less space. If you have different objects in water, water has a density of 1.0 grams per milliliter. What you would be able to do is determine if it is less dense, more dense, or the same as 1.0. So in this case, this block on the top left A is halfway underwater, so we would say this is 0.5 grams per milliliter density. This one here is in the middle. It's not sinking or floating. This is going to be equivalent to 1.0 grams per milliliter. This one looks like it's about 75% under, so this is 0.75 grams per milliliter. And the one on the bottom could be sunk, so it's anything more than 1.0. So anything above that, 1.01 and up. Two little questions for you for some review. What is the relationship between the density of an object and its arrangement of atoms? The higher the density the more packed the atoms would be. Number two, if the density of ice is 0.8 grams per milliliter, what percentage of the iceberg would be underwater? It would be whatever this is in a percentage form, so it would be about 80% under. Maybe if you were to draw a picture of that, it would look like this. 80% of the iceberg would be underwater and the rest would be on the top. I know that's a terrible looking iceberg, but it's the best I got. I hope you enjoyed this video on density in five minutes or less. Stay tuned for more five minutes or less science tutorial videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.